we are going to be talking about designing the alliance. My name is Sydney Wilson. And I'm Laurie Schneider. So let's talk a little bit about designed alliance. Okay. So the essence, what we're talking about here is you're in some kind of relationship. We'll talk about what the various ones are that you might be in in a moment. And effectively, you're explicitly talking about how you guys are going to work together with each other. Whereas our experience is that most often the relationship, the alliance, or the relationship is, is presumed and assumed, but rarely, if ever, explicitly designed. Absolutely. So that's great. And there, there's uh, inherent in designing alliance are a lot of the skills that you've been taught uh, throughout the program. So you'll, you'll notice that there's a place for listening at level two and three when you're designing the alliance because you're wanting to check in and see if it's really landing for the person, if it's making sense. Um, to be establishing that transparency, you need to be paying attention to whether or not they're picking up what it is that you're saying. And if you're noticing that they may or may not be, then of course use that good old curiosity to say, hey, I just want to check in. How are you doing with this? Yeah. Is this right. working for you? Is it not working for you? What are your thoughts? Those kinds of curious questions in helping to further the, the, the conversation. So it's not meant to be a monologue. It's that place where you're really engaging back and forth. <clears throat> uh, some of the places that you can use it, there's actually a number of places you can use it. Uh, for instance, one might be that you've just completed the Performance Enablement Champion program and you are going back out and you're, you're folks that you've maybe been working with for one or two years and you want to create a new way of working together with those, those people on your team that establishes that connection, establishes that new way that you're working together. Right. One thing to bear in mind in that particular case is the, the, the issue of rank and privilege. Since you are most likely their boss, chances are pretty good that they may feel, well, what, the, what how we're going to work together in a way that's effective for us. And with all designed alliance, there's that chance to talk about it up front, mm -hmm. to sort of say as you're starting a new project, hey, let's talk about this, let's make sure we have some things in place. And some things get missed because we don't know what it is right. that needs to be covered. Right. And so those things later on right. as you're down the track, right. either in a team setting or one-on-one, -on -one, then say, oh, I'm noticing we all agreed to this and yet it didn't happen. Right. Let's talk about how we want to make sure that we move towards or that. I'm noticing there's a tendency for two or three people to be speaking and maybe not hearing from three or four other people. Right. Yeah. So speak to that. It's a great place to kind of highlight what it is, articulating what's going on, mm -hmm. articulating what you notice, uh, and then and then sharing that out to the group and choosing intentionally and consciously how you want to be around that. Right. Pointing it out to the group and then having the conversation about what is going to work in a way that we work well together. Yep. Other places where you may want to uh, apply this concept of designing the alliance is even just in a little hallway conversation, mm -hmm. right? So obviously when you're having a conversation with someone when it's onboarding someone or redesigning the relationship, uh, you will have a longer conversation. But in the hallway, even just that one question that sets up that time that you're going to be right. conversing is a version of designing the alliance. Such as, do you have a minute? I'd love to talk to you about something. As right. opposed to... <laughs> just rushing in headlong, assuming that that person has all the time in the world where, in fact, they're about to go to a really critical meeting. The last thing they need is to be talking to you. Right, exactly. So that would be one thing setting up how much time you have to talk to somebody. Another element involved in it could be, you know, is this a topic that you want coaching on? Right. Right, so actually explicitly asking them right. if this is something they want coaching on instead of just assuming and, and again, diving headlong right. into coaching them. Is this something that we can cover in five minutes? If it is, great, let's just have the conversation. And if not, then maybe we need to set more time aside. So those are the kinds of things that are just mini design alliances on the fly. Right. Great.